Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Manager 2019. We're still in January and back a little bit earlier than I thought I was going to be, mostly because of this. We did, as you can tell, win our replay against Wolves in the FA Cup third round, so we host Blackburn in the fourth round of the competition. That is our first game today, then we will travel to Leicester in the Premier League. We'll quickly catch up on the two things that have happened. I keep playing competition, it's the wrong thing. We had our Wolves 2-0 win in the replay. It wasn't really comfortable, but we managed to get a solid win out of it. And then a 1-1 draw at home to Huddersfield. Very disappointing. We should have won that game. Absolutely. We just gave up some opportunities. You may notice there are some new names in the squad. So let's jump over to transfers quickly here. We've done a couple things. First look at the out here. Iose Perez, we did manage to sell him. He went to our upcoming opponent, Leicester for what could amount to 12 million pounds eventually and what will. But we also signed a couple people here. Tony Vilhena from Feyenoord, a 24-year-old central midfielder. I wanted some more, just some more in there, you know, some better players, some more depth. He's going to be a guy that I'm going to bring in. He started the FA Cup game against Wolves and got sent off. So, not a great start to his career, but he will be available for the Blackburn game. We also signed Santi Mina, 3.9 million pounds. I think that's a bargain for this guy. With Benedetto out, I didn't want to rely on guys like Rondon. I just sold Perez as well. So I needed somebody else that could play up front. This guy popped up for, you know, practically nothing. And I'm very pleased to be able to bring him in. His value is already 11.5 million. He didn't play particularly well in his first game. But I did put him as a pressing forward. I might switch that up a little bit. But that is where we're at transfer-wise. We have had a fairly, for me, busy January. I don't tend to do a lot in January on Football Manager. So this is kind of a busy period for me doing this. So we are going to get on with our game against Blackburn in the Cup here. I also noticed Preston made it to the final of the League Cup. So I'm even more annoyed that we went out of that competition. We absolutely need to progress there. Or in the FA Cup. Muto is now injured for 3-4 weeks. Key got broken in the Asia Cup, so is Muto right at the very end. He's due to come back in about a week. So that's nice. Look at these injuries still plaguing us. It's uh I hate looking at it. But I'm not gonna blame the game because I feel like injuries happen in real life too. You're not always gonna be injury free just with a couple. Alright, you're gonna get bollocks every once in a while, so why whine about it? Liverpool beating Swansea there, so let's go in. Take a look at it. Andre Mariner, the referee spotted there, but here is the lineup. I'm gonna bring our new man Will Hannah back in. Definitely gonna put Longstaff on the bench. He did get the goal in that last game to be fair, so it's kind of unlucky for him that I'm bringing him out. There's no one else really. Diami is now available again, so he's good to come back in. Oh no. Now I've given myself a kind of a, a what do I do sort of situation and that Diami's fit again and everyone's fit again, because also we had Longstaff injured for a little while. Do I put Diami on the bench? Is that a long staff or do I keep the young man in there? I think I gotta keep long staff in there. He's just been playing so much better. So I'm gonna keep him there. I'm gonna bring Atsu back in for Path on. He's just been a better player lately as well. So Atsu's gonna return there. I'm gonna bring Mina back to an advanced forward again. Let's play that's better for our system. And go with that. Yeah, we're gonna go into hopefully we should have not a lot of difficulty here. Overcoming Championship Blackburn at home, get through to the fifth round of the cup, keep our dreams of a trophy in this season alive. This will be the only season I do with Newcastle. I have decided. I put out a tweet about what my plans are for the full release of the game, both on here on YouTube and on Twitch. So if you want to take a look at that, feel free. But basically, YouTube will be taken over by Deportivo in Spain, and Twitch, I am planning to ram myself into the ground by trying the San Marino Challenge. I'm almost certain that I'm not going to be able to do it because I'm not. I'm just not good enough at this game to be able to do it. I'm kind of curious to see how far along I get. That challenge, of course, is that you have to win the Champions League with San Marino the club, or no, the Club World Cup with San Marino the club, and the World Cup with San Marino the country. So that kind of tells you exactly what sort of a challenge you're looking at there. But anyway, let's focus on what the task at hand is. Mina gets through and Santi Mina gets his goal. I played him very much intentionally in this game because I wanted him to get a goal, get his confidence up 
only takes him 10 minutes in this game to get his first for the club. It's fairly simple, really. Christian Atsu, I think, just bombs this one up there, doesn't he? Or does it go inside first? No, he slides a great ball through. The defender gonna, doesn't do a good job. Mina just pounces on it, puts it into the back of the net. 1-0. So, yeah, I want to get to the end of the season with Newcastle. That's where we're going to call it good. Shelby is in there, and there's another one. Santi, Mina, goal number 2. 2-0. 2 for Mina. Hopefully this is the sign of an easy day to come. The FA Cup is probably my priority at this point because I do want to get a trophy out of this. Which is why I haven't really done any kind of rotation here and playing a strong side because I want to win. You know, I'm not worried about, oh, can we get fourth in the league? Yes, you want to do better in the league. But I obviously want to win a trophy because we get a penalty. And Santi Mina could have a 20-minute hat trick because he hits his penalty and it goes past Rea. 20 minutes in, 3-0, three, no, three goals for Santi Mina. 3.9 million pounds already coming up. Very good. The goalkeeper almost got this. He's probably, I think he got a hand to it, just not enough. It still creeps its way into the corner. 3 0. No problem so far. We're absolutely dominating Championship Blackpool. And for once, it actually looks like a Premier League team against a Championship team. Looks much worse. Leicester beating MK Dons 5 0. Palace are 4 0. There's a lot of big results coming through. Premier League teams seemingly not having much trouble so far. As Blackburn do come forward for the first time, it's a nice bit of play. Look at that. That probably deserved a goal the way they passed all that there. They got around us so easily. I think that almost made that saved. I didn't think it was, but maybe Dubrovka got a touch on that one. Makes it all the more impressive for him, and more unlucky for Blackburn not to get a goal at the end of it, as it goes out for another corner, and that'll probably just be a nothing play. Corner here for us, Shelby swings it in its head to clear. The highlight started on the corner, there's so got to be something coming. It might be a Blackburn breakaway here as Burton goes forward here, Bennett down the right. We kind of slowed it down, but this reinforcements will be coming. It's a nice ball by Bennett. Finds Sacco at the back, and they do. Blackburn get a goal back here. Sacco slides that one home. It's 3-1. They have kind of come into this game a little bit. A little bit too much for my liking. I don't really enjoy it, but this look at this from Bennett. I think it was his one ball again. It's a lovely pass. Puts his foot right through. It gets all the way over. Shar just kind of leaves it, to be honest. I think it might have been Wilhanna coming in as well. Neither of them go for it. Shar should have put his foot through it or something. But anyway, 3-1. We should still be in a pretty good spot here, but that one goal is not ideal. But we approach half time anyway. Yeah, see some of the scores here, Palace being Exeter 5-1. Man City are up against Huddersfield. Let's go to get the boys back out here to essentially, I think, finish the job. Don't get complacent. Mina, of course, being the one that gets whiny about that. You scored a hat trick, and kind of let you off with it. I'll roll out for the second half. I'm still trying to figure out the system. The tactic we're playing, it has days where it's fantastic. And then it has days where, for whatever reason, it just falls completely flat. And the system doesn't change. So maybe it relies, of course, football relies on player performance. If players don't perform or aren't good enough, then it doesn't matter what system you're playing. Is that who plays that one for Amina gets a touch and saved by Rhea. But it always matters what players you have and how they're performing. But it seems this system seems to fluctuate so much that it's hard to kind of decide if it's because of the system or because of the players that there are issues. You know, I don't really know. And this is kind of important because I want to make sure that I can use, you know, the time I'm spending here as information for when I go on to play, you know, the other saves I talked about in the full release. I want to make sure that we're in a good spot and I have something kind of figured out tactic wise so I might switch things up a little bit but I kind of want to see this one through honestly I kind of want to see this tactic make it to the end and make it good make it come good have a performance against the big team now we beat Chelsea 3-1 at home that was our big team performance that was at home away it's done absolutely nothing it's been garbage against almost everybody so I think I might need to do something a little more compacted but the formation isn't that a you know, aggressive and out there. It's a 4-5-1, you know? Then we hit full time here, we beat Blackburn by three goals to one. We will advance to the fifth round of the FA Cup. It was a nice, simple victory. Really nothing happened in the second half there because it didn't need to. And we get the win. So next, three days against Leicester. I don't know if we'll have a fifth round draw in between there. If we do, we'll kind of take a look at it. 
Apparently VAR was deployed, but I didn't see it happen, but that's okay. Um, yeah, we'll come back either for the fifth round draw or for a league game against Leicester. Right, just before we take on our next opponents, Leicester, we do have the FA Cup fifth round draw. So we're going to jump into that. Let's see who's still in it first. We have Brentford, Brighton, Burnley, Borough, Chelsea, Middlesbrough, Palace, Derby, Everton, Epsfleet, or Millwall. It's an interesting one. Ipswich, Leicester, Liverpool, Manchester City, ourselves. Southampton are Leeds, Wigan, and Stoke. So a lot of big names not there. No Arsenal, no Manchester United. For one, no Tottenham. So there are a lot of big names not in the competition anymore. So let's kind of go through and see who we're going to... Oh, straight off the bat, trip to Goodison Park to take on Everton. Again, it could definitely have been easier. To all championship tie there, Brentford and Stoke. Liverpool, Manchester City. So another big name is going to leave, I really hope. We can get past Everton because this could become, again, a winnable competition if we can get through a little bit further. I don't want to repeat with the League Cup where I'll show you it. Actually, now the League Cup here. The final is between Watford and Preston. Now, we would have been drawn against Watford had we got past Burnley. So, we wouldn't have been on that side. We could have been playing Preston in the League Cup final in a month. But we're not. Right, time to get on with our next game here, the Leicester match. I don't really know if I want to make any particular changes. I'm kind of happy with how the squad lined up last game. No one is terribly perfect. John Joe Shelby's not in a great place, so I might bring in Diame. What are the physio saying about him? His condition's okay, so I think I will start Diame here instead of Shelby and bring Shelby onto the bench. And go with this. I think this is definitely a better. So I don't need three defenders on the bench. Oh, let's get Lazaro out of there. I want to get Longstaff, so another midfielder in there. Yeah, I think this is what we're going to go with. So there's the one change then. Diami coming in for Shelby. That'll probably be reversed sometime in the game to give Shelby a little break. Diami's coming back from injury, so he needs a little bit of work. We'll give him about an hour or so, but hopefully we can get a big and needed. Premier League win here to keep our status somewhere in those European places, keep as high up the table as we possibly can. The last time I talked about our tragic away farm, we did go to Wolves in the cup replay and get a win, so hopefully we can do something similar in this one, but again, the league, we really haven't done anything outside of St. James's Park, so I'm kind of... It's more hope than anything else at this point. So Leicester, even though they are mid-tail, they're starting the day in 12th. We play like a team that belongs at the bottom when we go away from home. Mina finds Matt Richard. That's a little highlight here. Richard's Richard probably going to hit one here. He does, and it's tipped onto the posts or the bar, one of them, by Kasper Schmeichel. An outstanding save by the Dane to keep it nil-nil. Well, that's encouraging that Matt Richard got all of that space right in the middle of the Leicester box. Now another highlight coming through here. Maguire finds Armstrong Lester playing out from the back. It's a lovely ball. Jamie Vardy's pace is going to take him right through here. And it's going to take a miracle from Dubravka. And he stands up tall and makes the save. Vardy's finished. Wasn't there to match his run. It remains goal as both sides having had very good chances to take first half leads as we creep towards half time. Five minutes to go. Maybe something will happen in the closing stages. But at the same time, it looks unlikely. And we hit the half time whistle goalless at the King Power Stadium. I definitely want us to be getting three points here. I know with the Brighton game, I was like, oh, points, okay. It's not really anymore because we also couldn't beat a team like Huddersfield at home. Our league farm has deserted us lately. We really need to start picking up wins to keep up. We're slipping away from these guys here. I don't think Champions League is an option anymore, but I don't want to start dropping down into this mid-table area. Watford just a couple points behind us. And then a cluster of teams there, really not far away at all. As Leicester get the first chance of the second half here, it's piled forward, bounces off the man, and Dummett picks it up. Where's he going to go with it? He finds Kieran Clark, and it hits Christian Atsu. Hopefully this is a breakaway chance for us. Atsu running down the left. He finds Santi Mina in the middle, goes back out to Atsu. Mina makes his run towards the center. Atsu has it, cuts it back, but Diame just kind of stands there, doesn't go far, and Armstrong gets in the way. Demari Gray down the left, cutting inside for Leicester. Here's Armstrong. Lovely ball out wide to Gezel. Swings it in. Gray is there. His header is over the bar. Another good Leicester opportunity. We really need the boys to start picking something up here. It's been a pretty even game. 
can't say a draw is unfair at this point, but I kind of want to unfairly win, if that's okay, football manager. Maybe just once. Armstrong punts one forward, Dummett deals with that, Hayden knocks it down, here's Vilhana, Diame, Vilhana, or Vilhana, I don't think, no, he's coming in here though, he's going to play it to Diame, Diame finds Matt Ritchie, Christian Atsu's shot is blocked, and now Leicester with a chance to counter, and after all that, this is going to be a Leicester highlight, that man's piling through the middle, what a tackle, Kieran Clark with an outstanding challenge, and that was actually the highlight, was the pile in the box, where we really should have done something. It's time to take a look at maybe a change here. I think I'm going to bring off Matt Ritchie who plays him with Pavon. And then I'm going to switch these to over the Atsu cut inside to keep Pavon a little wider. Bring off Diami, replace him with Shelby. And see if we can get these last 15 minutes a goal. I don't really want to push too much. I don't want to concede. Last thing, losing would be even worse. Is an opportunity or a highlight here. Dubravka finds Fabian Schar. Apparently Dummett's tired, I don't know if we really want to bring him off and put Lazar in there, but we'll see. Vilhana finds Pavon down the left, where's he going to go with it? Cuts inside nicely, he's still going, he's going to hit this one, Pavon goes wide. Michael doesn't even really have to react, I'm going to bring Dummett off, he's a lot more tired than I thought. I don't have to have a last pass, I'm going to shift Clark over and put LaSalle, I forgot I brought Lazar off the bench, finally. Let's see if we can go for a little here in the last few injury time minutes but the clock ticks away another goalless performance there are a few of these lately I don't know if this because we're missing some players the only person really missing right now is Benedetto and he isn't a goal machine but there's the full time whistle nil nil I'd say on the balance of that second half performance we probably should have got the win but we didn't again I'm not going to be particularly nasty to the boys because we didn't play that badly I don't want to review and share a video hopefully I didn't just do that it did not wonderful all right, yeah, Lester hold up for draw, I think is a fair way to describe that. But that is how we are going to end today's episode. We cling on to seventh place at the moment. There's probably some more games that could kick us out of that right now. But the Premier League table, we are, look at that. I don't like how close we are to dropping down into this mid-table position. We're going to be keeping up with the Arsenals and Tottenham's of the world. We're kind of leading the best of the rest race at the moment. But you don't know how long that could last. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed it. We will be back with more. I'm going to try and keep turning these out so we can be done with it before Friday. It's probably not going to happen. This will probably overlap a little bit into the full release of the game, but that's okay. We'll deal with that as it comes. But yeah, keep your eyes open. Hopefully there will be more videos coming soon, and I will see you next time.